Tucker Carlson has decided that rather than apologizing for his hateful remarks about immigrants coming into the United States and quote, making it dirtier and poorer and more divided, that he's just gonna continue to double down, triple down, quadruple down on them, whatever he has to do. On his program last night, he said that he is not going to be intimidated by these people calling for advertisers to boycott his show. And he's not gonna change, he's gonna keep doing what he always does, which is being a vile, hate-filled uh, uh, liar. That's what Tucker Carlson is, and that's what he does best. So, rather than coming out and apologizing, tucking tail, and understand that the network's losing money on him at this point, he's just gonna keep on going. At this point, he has now lost at least 20 uh, advertisers for a show. And here's the list. SanDisk, Pfizer, Takeda Pharmaceuticals, Career Builder, TD Ameritrade, Scotty Vest, United Explorer, Just for Men, Voya, Zenny Optical, IHOP, Jaguar, Pacific Life, Indeed, Bowflex, Smile Direct Club, Nerd Wallet, Minted, and Ancestry, and SodaStream. That's a lot of advertisers. And there's some big names in there with big advertising dollars. But Tucker Carlson, rather than admitting he was wrong, Rather than apologizing to millions upon millions of people on this planet, instead wants to say, I'm not gonna be intimidated and I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna keep doing what I do. Wow, that's, that, that's gutsy, I'll give you that. Uh, but this isn't about that. What this is actually about are the people out there trying to defend Tucker and shaming those who are allegedly trying to de-platform him. Uh, Nate Silver, happens to be the biggest culprit here, came out yesterday uh, with a lot of tweets on it, trying to defend it, warning us that, oh my God, you do this to Tucker, it's gonna get done to the rest of us, ah, we have to stop. Literally has never happened uh, throughout all of these boycotts whenever conservatives go on there and say something insanely racist. Uh, it's never been like retaliated against, right? I mean, we do have a few instances, obviously, you know, Sam Cedar was the victim of this. They go back, they try to find an old tweet, take it out of context and, and, and have something bad happen to you. James Gunn with Guardians of the Galaxy is another example. But in terms of deplatforming, you know, really getting out there and starving the left of money, that hasn't necessarily happened. But here's the, the thing. There is nothing wrong with calling for an advertising boycott of Tucker Carlson. I support that 100%. I haven't seen anybody out there saying we have to get Tucker Carlson off the air. I'm sure they exist. And I'm sure they existed long before these racist comments. And they're gonna continue to exist until Tucker Carlson is no longer the host of a show because people don't like him because he spreads hate and division and encourages his followers to go out there and spread that same hate and division in their daily lives. It is dangerous. His words do have consequences and that's what I don't understand why people like Nate Silver can't see that. What's wrong with us saying, hey Pfizer, you shouldn't advertise on them and Pfizer looking at what he's saying finally and saying, oh crap, you're right, I shouldn't. That's not deplatforming. that's actually the free market at work. I don't understand this defense of Carlson. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. If he goes out there and makes racist comments and suddenly corporations, thanks to the activist, realize that he said these things, they have every right to come out and say, I don't want my brand associated with that. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want him to say that immigrants are dirty and then cut to a commercial for my company that makes me look bad. They have every right to do it. And that is what is happening here. Me personally, I mentioned the other day that Tucker Carlson is in no danger of losing his job and he's still not in danger of losing his job. He is going to remain on that platform and hell, even if he doesn't, he still has, uh, what is it? The Daily Caller I think is his. Uh, there's a lot of the daily conservatives because they're not very creative with names, but whatever. So he's going to be fine. He's not losing any platform. He's going to be just fine. So can we please stop trying to say that advertiser boycotts don't work or that they're going to backfire on us? Because so far, hasn't actually happened. All we've done is help to quiet down some of the racism coming from these idiots on Fox.